It is the 25th of the 7th, 2011, and this is the fallout report for today. I'm going to start at the JAIF website. Workers at Fukushima plant report harsh conditions. Workers involved in the restoration of the areas hit by the March 11th earthquake and tsunami and the double and the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant said their working conditions have been harsh. About 1,500 temporary workers of Suncrack subcontractors hired by leading construction companies gathered in Tokyo on Sunday to discuss the situation. A man who took part in the construction of energy emergency housing in the Iwate prefecture said that he had been promised 20,000 yen or $250 a day but received only about a third of the amount. He said there were inadequate meals and workers had to sleep together 40 per room. And again, um, they're cutting corners on this, cutting corners on this. And, um, of course, only uh, we have to pay, right? TEPCO tackles trouble with decontamination units, continues. Uh, the Tokyo Electric Power Company is trying to figure it out a symptom a system to decontaminate radioactive water at troubled Fukushima Daiichi power plant remains unstable. The system funnels in radioactive water accumulated from the underground facility and reuses it as reactor coolant after decontaminating the radioactive substance. Uh, TEPCO started the operation late last month. The system sends 3.8 cubic meters of water per hour to each of the number one and number two reactors. However, the operation has been un unstable for the last three days. On Friday, the amount of water injected suddenly decreased to 3.4 cubic meters per hour at the number two reactor and then fell to 3.2 on Saturday. On Sunday, the system was halted for seven hours due to trouble with a device to remove salt from the radioactive water. A TEPCO restored the operations with a backup mechanism. The utility says it will closely watch each system and try to track down the cause of the instability. Now you got to remember this is this is all experimental. Um, remember it was the big France cleaning system that that still isn't proven and uh, they can't seem to get it to work the way they think it should. Uh, number one reactor Fukushima temperature falls below 100 degrees the op uh, Celsius, of course. The operator of the Trouble Fukushima, Fukushima uh, Daiichi nuclear plant says that the temperature at the bottom of the number one reactor is being kept at the lowest level since the new cooling system went into operation last month. And uh, the last report just said uh, they're having trouble keeping that going. So you got to remember they, they, re they redefined cold shutdown. Um, under a new term so they don't have to completely shut these reactors down for them to declare victory and uh, okay everybody's okay to come back to the evacuation 20 kilometer zone um, just insane madness going on uh, where these this these government and corporation entities are uh, pension pennies where they can at the expense of the Japanese Canadian and American people and you got to remember the radioactivity is being um, reported all the way into Europe and Russia as well um, so it's it's not just the Japanese that have to deal with this uh, government releases radiation forecast system data Japan's nuclear watchdog has released the results of their analysis on how radioactive substances spread after the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident it's an accident uh, the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency released data analyzing by computer forecasting system designated to track the movement of radioactive substances based on wind and weather. Uh, the system for prediction, um, environmental energy dose information, or SPD, calculated six days worth of data, ooh, six whole days, on March 12th through 17th, and the results show the amount of radioactive substance in the atmosphere external exposures and accumulation on the ground. A uh, map from March 12th, a day after the disaster, shows radioactive substance first flowed towards the southeast and then gradually moved north. And again, this was carried over the jet stream up through um, 
northern Russia, Alaska, into Canada, and the United States. Um, just ongoing. It's still ongoing. And decontamination experiment starts in Fukushima. I mean, why not? How could it get any worse? More than 3,500 city employees and citizens took part in an experiment to remove radioactive materials from the roads in a highly contaminated area of Fukushima City on Sunday. Now, I believe this is 60 kilometers away from the power plant. Uh, the experiment follows the city's decision to clean up all the roads used by elementary and junior high school students. Participants dug up weeds and removed sludge from roadside ditches where the radioactive material tend to accumulate. They used high pressure washing equipment and scrubbing brushes to clean roads in nearby schools. Oh my god. Um, and again, they're, they're reporting that everything's safe, come bring your vacation dollars, everybody vacation in Japan, it's okie dokie. Uh, over to Energy News, they've got a lot going on, so I'm just going to kind of brief synopsis headlines on these stories. Radiation fallout poses growing threat, 2,600 plus cattle contaminated, more vegetables and unsafe levels. There's no centralized system, only voluntary tests are going on to the food that's being distributed to the Japanese people. It's criminal, it's insane. Uh, report un University radiation t finds 56.9 microsieverts per hour at elementary school drain. 20.8 at government building, 20 times higher than official numbers. Now this is in Fukushima City, uh, again about 60 kilometers away from the nuclear power plant and not in the evacuation zone at all. Cesium-134 in water near reactor number 3, this is Fukushima, climbs to 30 times the maximum limit, and they're saying it may have been caused by the typhoon, uh, has done more damage to an already damaged reactor. 6.2 earthquake hits Fukushima, a 6.4 quake in the same area uh, Saturday, Internal radiation dose of around 80 microsieverts from eating two pounds of radioactive beef. Oh my god. Uh, France sends irradiated, irradiated nuclear fuel to the United States. Six casts offloaded in Georgia and trucked 1,600 miles to Los Alamos, New Mexico. Um, and again, they've, they've transported this nuclear material over our highway system. Um, onto the Los Alamos um, nuclear area and uh, they have a big history of, of safe and clean um, nuclear storage at Los Alamos here of late, haven't they? TEPCO redefines cold shutdown, like I said before. Only a bottom pressure vessel has to be under 100 degrees Celsius, not reactor core coolant. So, again, they're twisting the facts and so that they can declare um, everything's okay when it's really not. And again, um, they cannot stop the leaking of information out of what this is probably man's greatest disaster as of yet to date. Uh, Fukushima blackout, cooling at SPF number 3, stopped for 5 hours, still on backup power. Tepkeo says no major change in temperatures. And that was the story before they just said it, it raised 100 degrees. And... Updated roadmap no longer mention how holes in reactors will be plugged. Uh, Kyoto professor perplexed this most important point was left out. Uh, they're not saying how... Th how they're going to fix these reactors. Um, they, they haven't even begun to, to cover it up. At least the Russians started dumping concrete on it right away. Uh, Time.com on SOS from Fukushima. Another disgruntled Japanese official has taken to the interwebs a bit of social media jujitsu. And again, these are people screaming for help because they can see what's actually going on there and uh, no official help whatsoever. Um, they're actually being threatened and uh, 
It's just insane. The whole thing is insane. Uh, the lawyers are in charge, and um, everybody has to pay. Typhoon increases level of radioactive water in reactor number one basement by 17 inches in a day, um, likely to continue rising. And again, it's in the groundwater. And uh, come on, folks, come vacation in Japan. Iodine-131, also found in Philadelphia area sewage plants. Sludge set off radiation detectors at landfills. Experts skeptical it's from cancer patient's urine, uh, which is the official line. It's got to be from the cancer patient's urine uh, that's making uh, radioactive sludge in the sewage uh, in the Philadelphia area. And uh, I've, been, I've watched some videos um, where the actual... Um, the, the infant mortality rate has gone through the roof uh, since this accident. Uh, that's about all I have for you today. Of course, if you have anything, please uh, leave your comments or attach your videos below. I prefer, I prefer your videos. And uh, I, can, I sure use all the help I can get. Enjoy while you can, and I'll see you when I can. Thanks, everybody.